running out of ideas to keep your little one busy? Hi guys, I'm Tara and welcome to my channel Bairn and a Backpack. Like everyone across the UK and indeed like so many people across the world just now, we're spending a lot of time indoors because of the COVID-19 lockdown. We live in a relatively small flat, we have no garden, so we're having to be a little bit creative for the kinds of things we're doing to keep Ben busy indoors and also break up the daily routine a little bit so it's not the same toys and the same activities every single day. I actually made a video a few weeks ago showing some of the first activities that we'd created indoors just using some of the things that we had around the house. I'll make sure to link that here for you in case you want to check that out as well. But in today's video, we're gonna have a look at some of the newer things that we've been doing over the past few weeks. Again, use things that you'll have around the house, things that you'll have in your, in your garage, in your cupboards, and they're super easy to set up and keep little ones entertained for a really long time. Ben is 20 months old, but equally these activities would be suitable for younger and older toddlers. So let's get started and I hope it gives you some inspiration of things that you can do with your little one too. My first activity is bubble play. It is so effective and super easy to set up. All you have to do is fill your sink with lukewarm water and washing up liquid and make sure it's really nice and frothy. Equally, you could fill a bucket or a basin and put this in your garden if you didn't want to have the mess indoors and you have access to an outdoor space. Ben has a little step ladder which we got from Ikea. Obviously it doesn't have something to, to hold him onto it so we always supervise him and are playing with him when he's at the sink. Then I gave Ben a random selection of kitchen utensils, just like I did in my water play activity in my first toddler activity video. He played at the sink for hours. He played making ice creams by using the ice cream scoop to put the bubbles into little cups. We also had sat out some silicone straws and we used them to blow into the water and it created huge bubbles which Ben absolutely loved to pop. He also did things like gave his daddy a bubble beard and also gave himself bubble hair which was pretty messy but you know it's just water and soap so it wasn't really a problem to get him cleaned up afterwards. He also loved to clap his hands together with the bubbles so he put them onto one hand and then gave a big clap so that they would fly everywhere. Really entertained him for a long time, there were bubbles on the ceiling afterwards but because it's just washing up liquid and water it wasn't a problem to get off and, and very very easy to clean up. <laughs> this is one of my favourite activities just because it's so easy to set up and genuinely keeps toddlers entertained for hours. My next activity is to create giant vehicle roads, ramps and bridges. To do this, I marked a road out on a coffee table using masking tape and then I used parts of Ben's giant indoor climbing frame to create ramps and bridges off of the coffee table. If you don't have these giant wooden obstacles, it's no problem. You can also use things like bits of cardboard boxes or plastic lids from boxes and be really creative to create your road system on your table. I definitely have a climber. So our car obstacle course very quickly became a Ben obstacle course as well. We did however have an eye on him the whole time, we were playing with him so we made sure that he didn't hurt himself and he absolutely loved sending the cars down and then sliding down after them. He loved to take them across the bridges, send them down the ramp with characters on them just by themselves. This is an activity which again kept my toddler entertained for at least an hour and an older toddler could also help to build the course in the first place. Ben is also a toddler who loves stickers so he really loved to help peel the masking tape off the table at the end of the activity as well. All the masking tape that was peeled off was then put into a masking tape ball and the ball of masking tape itself kept us busy for another half hour. Next we have the paper tube drop. For this activity all I did was attach toilet roll tubes and kitchen roll tubes to the wall using masking tape. If you don't want to attach the masking tape directly to your wall you could also do it on a fridge or on a radiator if you're worried about the paint coming off the wall with the masking tape. The tubes can be stuck up individually or they can be stuck up in a line like what I've done to make the drop a little bit longer. Then I gave Ben a ping pong ball to drop down the tubes. You could use literally anything you have lying around the house for this, pom poms, cars, anything. Ben actually quickly decided that his small animals were the best thing to go down what he called the slide. 
This activity held Ben's attention for a while before he decided that the masking tape on the wall was the most interesting part and that peeling it off and sticking it back on was way more interesting than sending things down the tube. But that's the beauty of these kind of activities. The toddlers can take from them what they want and find their own way to play with them. Balloon play sounds so easy and obvious, but it is so effective. Balloons are not just for birthdays. Ben is that child that is drawn to balloons when we go into a birthday party. So all I did was blow up one balloon and then blow up a second balloon and attach it to our ceiling light in our living room using a ribbon. I did tie the ribbon to the light using a quick release knot just to make sure that if he pulled the balloon too hard, it wouldn't bring the light down with it. Ben then ran around playing with the balloons for a really long time. The ceiling balloon has actually become a permanent feature of our living room for the past two days because he just keeps going back to play with it. Ben especially loved hitting the balloon with his feet when my husband Thomas flew him around the room. He found it absolutely hilarious. So easy and hours of fun. The next activity is the muffin tree. I actually came up with this activity when I saw how fascinated by masking tape Ben was through some of the other activities. All I did was take some of his little animal stones and put them into the individual parts of the muffin tray. You could do this with any small toy. And then I used masking tape across the top as the spider web. I even cut out a little black spider to sit on top. The idea was that Ben then had to save the bugs from the spider by peeling off the tape and taking them out. And the part that Ben actually loved most was having the spider eat the bugs instead of saving them. And he actually continued to play with the muffin tray itself, putting the stones in and out after all the masking tape was off and after the activity was finished. I actually think I'll now put the muffin tray out more often for certain activities because he really enjoyed playing with that by itself as well. And the sticky chair. I saw a version of this activity on Instagram using sticky back plastic which people had attached to their walls using masking tape. Sticky bag plastic is not something which I just have lying around the house, but I do have duct tape. I took one of our chairs and wound the duct tape with the sticky part facing outwards around the back of the chair. Then I took some of Ben's toys that I thought were light enough to stick to the duct tape and put them in some bowls next to it and just let him explore sticking and unsticking them onto the chair. He also just went and found some of his other toys that he fancied sticking up and obviously some of them were too heavy and fell off, but he really enjoyed experimenting with it. It was a nice, easy to set up activity, which kept him busy for around 20 minutes, but it was also something that he kept going back to over the course of the day. And we have the puzzle piece wrap. For this activity, I took a puzzle which Ben knows well and wrapped up the individual animal puzzle pieces in coloured paper and masking tape. You could use any type of paper, recycled newspaper, magazines, and any kind of tape. You could also use normal sticky tape. I use the masking tape only because it's easier for a young toddler to peel up, but I've also seen this activity done, for example, with tin foil. The idea was that Ben had to unwrap the puzzle pieces before then being able to place them into the puzzle. He did need a little bit of help to hold the parcel still while he unwrapped it, but he loved this activity so much he kept asking to repeat the activity again and again. So I kept wrapping the pieces up using the same paper and he was able to do the activity again and again. This activity was great for his fine motor skills and he also really enjoyed guessing which animal was going to be inside each package. Oh, last one. What is it? The dog. It's the dog. And finally we have indoor hide and seek. This activity is my husband's favourite and it requires absolutely no setup. We get Ben to wait in the kitchen and help him to count to five while one of us hides and then he just has to come find us. He's so small so sometimes he does need a little bit of help and we call to him or whistle so that no. he knows which room we're in. He's also started <laughs> to like hiding himself very badly um, but it's obviously easier when there are two of us home because one of us can hide with him and the other one can come find him. <laughs> He's also started to really enjoy this activity with an object. So for example, we hide a balloon and he has to find where that's hidden in the house as well. So that's us for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope it's given you some ideas and inspiration of things that you can do at home with your toddler as well. If you haven't already, you might want to check out my previous toddler activity video for even more ideas and subscribe for more upcoming videos about things that we're doing at home with our toddler every day. 
You might also want to head over to Instagram because I'm posting things daily about what we're doing at home there as well. I just wanted to mention before finishing the video that we're not filling every hour of Ben's day with organised activities like this. We're maybe doing one a day or a few a week just to break up the monotony of being indoors and at home with us all the time. My husband and I are both self-employed so we're unable to work very much during the pandemic so we're spending a lot of time at home together as a family. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye bye!